I'd just like to end this off by saying that there's an easy way to understand Synergy team power. There are friends of Synergy and there are enemies of Synergy. It's an easy way to understand it. The friends of Synergy are really the right kind of leadership. The single constant to success is always about leadership and culture. If leadership is in place and they understand where they're going, where the vision, values and goals are taking them, and they're able to communicate that to their employees, and they create a culture of high performance where people feel inspired and they feel validated in the workplace, then that is a friend of synergy. Then success is inevitable. The enemy of synergy is dictatorship, dictatorial, toxic work environments where people are pressurized, where people are given three or four jobs to do because they're trying to save money. And you'll find in those kind of uh, workplaces that people will do as little as they can to get the paycheck. And the problem is that the company pays them as little as they can just to keep them. So now what you have is you have an adversarial relationship rather than a synergistic relationship. This is the enemy of synergy. So what you really want to do is focus on the friends of synergy and build your culture and your leadership in an organization and the rest will take its course. Success will be inevitable. So thank you for having me, Rich. I appreciate thank you, Chris. it.